is just past lunchtime. We've been doing school all morning. First day of school. It's first day of school. Everybody's cool on the first day of school. Have you guys heard that song? Everybody's cool on the first day of school. No. Wait, I want to show them the things I made. Okay, so you guys want to see some things that got Sophie made? So today we did a bunch of stuff. I didn't get to show you guys that I straightened up all this area. It does not look very straight, but it is. We've just been working in here all morning. The table got all messy. Like, that's insane. It looks so bad. But anyway, this will all get put away. So Sophie made some digital. We were practicing some digital stuff today. She made cover pages for all of her notebooks. Okay, so this is writing. Writing. Spelling. Spelling. Um, math. Math. Oh, it's Molly in the middle. Yeah. Oh, that's my favorite. Science. 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 Yes, you are. You're a good girl. Geography. You're a good girl. Art. Good girl. Oh, that's beautiful. And language. And language. Oh, language okay. is my favorite. Yeah, mine too. I, only I love one. language. Yeah, Gabby, show them. Yeah, Gabby. so Gabby did one. It took her the whole entire time just to do one. Let's you show know, them Gabby. Me, and photo. Sophie was like, oh, that's so ugly. That's so bad. That's awful. And I did not say that. Okay, she did not say that. She said Gabby's is just plain. Is that what you said? No. Okay, well, yeah. anyway, Gabby did I not. I just agreed with, with Dad. A bunch of them. pictures put on a piece of paper. Yeah, but anyways, I could see that Gabby actually put a lot of thought, a lot of effort into her. I had to do with look for photos which took an hour for each of them but gabby's artistic and then i just plopped them on all right but gabby's artistic style is totally different than sophie's and this is gabby's and it's all anime characters and they're all arranged around her mathematics sign and gabby's doing high school online high school okay you're gonna rip that sorry so her math is she's only doing one subject at a time so so for as long as it took that was fun though. for as long as it took sophie to do all of those it took gabby to just do one I was moving pretty fast. It was People hard. did not ever understand me that Gabby is like slow moving, but she is, and it's okay. You're it's okay to be slow moving, it's okay to be fast moving, it's okay to be hyper, it's okay to be non hyper, it's Did okay. You comment okay. down. No, I'm gonna Comment them. down below what one was your favorite out of all of mine. Yeah, Sophie wants her own YouTube channel. I ripped them Which because of have... karma, apparently, but um wait. You I threw the water at me. Yeah, so anyway, Gabby ripped her jeans, her ripped jeans. Dad threw water at me from the springs that we so, were going to see. They're her favorite. I need to sell them. Walking anyway, we did, whoops. Away. We did a few other things. We got ready and we did like some uh, school work, work, but just very basic. It's the first day of school and I want the first day of school always to be like a fun, get everything ready, get organized, get prepared, and just start little tiny bits of stuff. That's how I do homeschool. And that's how we did it today. We'll start back like full force tomorrow, but they did reading as well. Super fun. But now we're headed out to put the horses in. Do you guys remember this? My old garden that I had. And all that's left, you guys, are these pumpkins. I don't want to pick them yet, even though the vine is probably dead. Are they dead? Yeah, they're probably dead. But anyway, yeah, I guess, I guess they're already picked, really. We could bring them up to the house because even though it's September, look at how cute that is, though. Like... That's almost a perfect pumpkin. And this one too. So gorgeous. Ew, this one got rotten somehow. What happened here? What did you do? The, my pumpkin, look. From the ground maybe. This one is not a perfect pumpkin. Pumpkin. Oh, that's too bad. But you know what I can use this for? Seeds. I can get seeds from it to grow for next year. Disgusting. All right, so we have two, we got a hopefully three, but this one did not finish. It's still green. So anyway, this year Gabby wants to practice up on soccer because when our family all gets together at Thanksgiving, she's planning a big, huge soccer. I'm not planning it. We're just doing it. There's no planning with Gabby. Gabby is not a planner. She, we're just going to play soccer. I actually am, but uh, you say what you want. Say what you want. Okay, thanks, Gabby. <laughs> but now the school has gone back in. I just want to take a few seconds to remind everybody that it doesn't matter who you are. It only matters that you believe in yourself. And even when other people say that you're not good or you're not right or you're not pretty or you're not skinny or you're not all the things that are important to them, you just have to remember that you are all the things that are important to you. And that is all that's important, you guys. Just be yourself. Find the people that have the same core values as you do. Find the people that you fit with that accept you for who you are. 
and leave the rest. Just ignore them. Just don't pay attention because you are who you are for a reason. God made everybody the way that they are to live the life they're meant to lead and God never makes mistakes. It might seem like it sometimes, but he doesn't. So be yourself. Do you feel good, Sylvie? Yeah. Good. All right, so I issued the girls a challenge today. All the horses have been evicted. I'll clean up the horse poo. Sam does not clean up the horse poo in the morning in the arena. But it's okay because sometimes people have, because everyone has limitations. And that's just one of his. He's not thorough. Can I help? Can I help? Uh-oh. So the challenge that I gave to the girls today is... Can you hold the bucket of treats? Oh, that's a lot of treats. Yeah, whatever. So the challenge is that I want them to, we're gonna take 20 minutes and they're gonna train both of their dogs to jump through the loop. And they can do it, like you can do it however you want. You'll be putting on a show. You got it, Gabby? What? You can do it however you want. In 20 minutes, I'm gonna film whatever you've made up. So you, whoever has the best training with their dog will win. For example, if your dog runs through it and does well, then that's great. But if it jumps through it and you keep raising the level of jumps and it keeps jumping through it, then that will be even better. Wait. If you go get jumps, you can hang it up. Pick that bucket up. Do you understand the challenge? Yes. What's the challenge? Make your dog jump through it. To make a routine of your dog jumping through it better than the other person so that you win. I'm gonna win, even though I have the disadvantage because I have a deaf dog. Yeah, it's true. <laughs> All right, do you understand, Gabby? Okay, we're gonna give them about 20 minutes to make up a little routine and figure out how to train their dog to go through the net. And then I'm gonna video it, and you guys are gonna get to vote in the comments below and see who has a better routine. I can already assure you, Sophie is over there making things look beautiful, and Gabby's over here distracted playing with soccer. All right, deaf dog, go for it. Okay, so how's it going? We're just doing a, okay, so we're doing a check-in now and everybody's frustrated with the puppies. So Sophie decided she's gonna teach Ruby to show, show them. She just picked up the hula hoop, held it up and told Ruby to jump through it. You guys remember Ruby is the super amazing jumping dog. No matter what you do, Ruby will always jump. She's like Finn. Oh. <laughs> Did you see? She wants to jump. Anything. If you guys remember, we got Ruby because her owners were getting rid of her and oh, she just walked straight through the hoop. One of the reasons was that she jumped everything they put in front of her, like all the gates, the baby gates, the fences, the everything. So she's always been a jumper and always wanted to jump. And the horses be like, this is our room, get out. <laughs> All right, it's been 20 minutes, and let me tell you guys, it has not gone well. I terrified her dog. Okay, so there was an accident. Hold your hair, Mom. Wait, put it down lower. That's how you need to start again. Just start down lower. So we're... we're... Hold your hair. Okay, hold on. Okay, so there was an accident. It's too high for her, that's why. Come on. Do a little dummy. Come on. Come on. She needs it lower. She's not going to do it. Hold my treats. Okay. Yeah, we'll show you what all the dogs have learned today, okay? Get ready okay. for Day by Day's first episode of what our dogs did not learn today. We'll do Ruby first. We tried, we made some mistakes. Ruby. Things Ruby. happened, but we're gonna show you what, ha what, what they learned. jumping that thing no problem and then as she got her back legs caught on it she didn't jump high enough she didn't get hurt it didn't, wasn't hurt it wasn't like it didn't hurt her at all but she, just gets she, got, really she gets scared really easily like it's because 
I don't know why. I think it's because she's deaf. It could be because she's a Dalmatian and they're crazy. She's not crazy though. All right, I'm letting the horses in. Letting the horses in. Put put that thing up and see if uh, she'll jump through it up, raised. Yeah. <laughs> she's like, no way. I don't know, maybe that's not good. Yeah, I'm gonna open it. I love our horses. I love them. Like, I just can't even believe that we have all these beautiful horses. Hello. And he's like, oh, we'll go through. <laughs> Mom, what are you doing? I don't know. She needs to have a strong walk up. Sad moment. This is a sad moment, you guys. It's such a sad moment. Tell them why, Gabby. Don't touch the ground when I sit all the way back. She's like, sitting on the, the on the couch, and, and her feet don't touch the ground, but mine do. They don't. But the weird thing is, is that everybody thinks that Gabby's tall. She's five five and An average height. Average height, and she loves that she's average height. But everybody that we meet, because I'm immune to the tall jokes and the short jokes. Yeah, but she always gets the tall jokes. Like people think she's tall. My girl, my girl's a genius. <laughs> All right, let's go shopping and see if we can find some fun stuff that we can do and make our, our arena for the horses. All right, we're going to make some stuff for you, Penny Pickle. You I'm going to brush you too. You need it, her hair. Look, her hair is actually not growing that much. Look how cute Widow is. <laughs> can you guys see Gracie? She is kind of annoying. She is annoying. Do you guys know any oh, horse like that's annoying? Like, she is definitely annoying. You're not annoying. You guys don't see it because we're not always filming it. But she's just like... Right in the way, all the time. You have to yell at her in a really deep voice, like, hey! to get her to go away. I know, she's definitely... And she doesn't even go away. I know, and she's our only horse like that, isn't she? All right, let's go. All right, let's go. The boss has, has spoken, it's time. I totally forgot that I had these in the garden, you guys. Completely forgot. I have cantaloupe that I don't think are completely ripe yet. A bunch of them. And I have mini watermelons, which I also don't think are completely ripe. What the heck is that? What is that? Ooh, I think it's alive. Oh my gosh, I need to show Sophia. Can you guys see that? What is that? Okay, I'm gonna pick this thing up. I don't know, I think it's a, <gasps> I don't even know. Is it like a food? Is it a bug? What is that? What the heck is that? Okay, I think it's just a rotten food. Anyways, there's a bunch of little watermelons. A whole bunch over there too. I'm going to pick one of each of these and see if it's completely ripe and we can eat it because there's like a bunch of these. Look! No. Look! What? It's so good! Our cantaloupe worked! These are our pumpkin seeds. Cut open this little watermelon. I have way bigger ones of these can down I there. The I'm excited. Can I take the stomach? Yep. Almost. It's almost done. So these aren't quite done yet. Do I say chickens? Yeah, we give it all to the chickens. Mmm, it smells good Are you giving this to the chickens? No, I'm going to eat that. Here, you can give the seeds to the chickens and then I'm going to try it. Alright, so we are in a big, huge secondhand store. The color. Trying to find things. Trying to find things for our barn. Like things that we can make into like an obstacle course. I want this. This is not it. This is not it, Sophia. We can't get this and teach them to lay down on it. Yeah, that'd be fun. We can't even teach them to lay down. Remember, we tried. So, uh, the girls have been standing here in this toy section the whole time while I've been looking. I can't find anything, though. Uh, this is so fun. Do you guys have one of these? Can I have it? Yeah, super fun, Sophie. Yeah, we had a blue one of those. All right, so tell me, where the heck do I find stuff for, to make horse obstacles? I definitely want big tires. This is it. This is the ball Gabby bought. This is going to be our new fall thing. Soccer. 
Sophie, show them what you got. Sophie's so proud of this, you guys. Okay, so a not so slow rise squishy. Squishy, not so slow rise. A medium slow rise squishy. Medium slow rise squishy, it's bread. And my favorite, a really slow rise squishy. A really slow rise squishy. Yeah, that's my favorite too, and it smells glorious. They make it smell like birthday cake. Isn't it so cool? Don't you know that you're beautiful Just the way you are Just the way you came Don't you know that you're beautiful Don't you know